everyone makes mistakes. Some are worse than others, and some have consequences that haunt you for life. Mama Joon Shannon has made mistakes over the years. Some cast her family relationships, others her original reality TV career. And she also blew, among other things, over $1 million in a very short time, raising her entire net worth on drugs. Much of it specifically on crack. If she had the chance to do it all over again, Jun says that she would make different choices. Recently, Jun Shannon spoke to the Daily Mail about a hypothetical. What would she in 2023 say to herself if she could reach out to her past self when she was at her lowest point with substance abuse? Girl, what the hell are you doing spending all that damn money? Jun replied. I say that a lot to my husband, Justin Stroud, Jun continued. I would be like, man, why in the hell did I blow all that money? I am always thinking about that. I think about a lot of things I could do with that money. My husband tells me all the time that I can't dwell on it. Despite her husband's advice, June admitted that she still has moments in which she hates herself over those devastating mistakes. I don't remember like a lot of that time frame, June confessed. Just bits and pieces and stuff. But the biggest, stupidest thing I've done is spend that much money on drugs. Infamously, June did more than just empty her accounts at an alarming rate. So alarming that the family filed legal documents to ensure that she could not touch Alana's money. She also sold off her furniture and even things that belonged to other people, from personal possessions to her daughter's car. And after causing increasing damage outside and inside, she sold her once pricey home for a fraction of its previous value. Now I've gone back to being like penny pinching, and Justin tells me I'm a money hoarder, Joan joked. In addition to spending as much as $3,000 a day on drugs, Joan also dealt lasting harm. At first she was snorting cocaine. When that damaged her vision too much, and it was already not great, she switched to smoking crack cocaine. June has now been sober for three years, but that doesn't mean she's out of the woods. In addition to trying to rebuild her finances, she's also struggling with numerous health issues. Her headaches and dizziness were so bad that she had to go to the hospital last year. With no diagnosis, however, June worries that she's facing judgment for her substance abuse. That is a real problem in medical circles, and I hope that it is not actively preventing her from getting a diagnosis and solutions to her health problems. That's it for now, folks. See you in the next video.